Okay, welcome back. This is Professor Rich. Today's lesson is on section 5.3, log logarithmic functions and graphs. In 5.2, we studied exponential functions. So let, let's graph y equals 2 to the x. So that's the exponential function base 2. And again, if you recall, I said you want to graph 0, 1, negative 1, or plot. We're going to plug in 0 for x. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. If we want to go out a little, little further, 2 to the second is 4. 2 to the negative 2 is 1 fourth. Okay, so we plot 0, 1. 1, 2, 2, 4, negative 1, 1 half, negative 2, 1 fourth. And then remember it's an asymptote. So it's, as you go to negative infinity, it gets closer to 0. Okay, so that's y equals 2 to the x. Now, that was from 5.2. And then um, we studied the inverse function. So the inverse of y equals 2 to the x. So this was from 5.1. Is. So remember you switch the x and y. x equals 2 to the y. Okay. Now if I ask you to graph that. And I'm going to do it on the same set of axes. And if you uh, recall, to do the inverse, we switch the x and y. Or we can go across this line, y equals x. And then the inverse of that will be, you're just going to switch all the x and y's. So instead of 0, 1, we do 1, 0. Instead of uh, 1, 2, you're going to do 2, 1. Instead of negative 1, 1 half, you're going to do 1 half, negative 1. Instead of 2, 4, we're going to do 4, 2. So you can either plug it in back into the equation, x equals 2, y, or you just flip uh, inverse um, all the x and y's. That's what I'm doing right now. So then 1 fourth, negative 2. And remember, it's the reflection through the line y equals x. So, you know, all these... You can do any one of these techniques and it'll give you the same result. So 4, 2. You see, oh wait. My line y equals x is off because obviously that's not a reflection there. Should have used a ruler. There, that's better. Okay, I can't erase, unfortunately. Okay, uh, let's see, where am I? One half, negative one, one fourth, neg negative two, and now the asymptote's going to be a vertical asymptote. And this is x equals 2 to the y, the inverse. Now, well, um, if we want to write it as a function, we want it to be y equals something, and we don't have a name for that. And that's what 5.3 is, is we're going to actually call this a logarithm. So x equals 2 to the y is equivalent to y equals log base 2 of x. Okay, and I want you to get this saying in your head. A logarithm is an exponent. And I want you to repeat that. That um, that will become your mantra for this chapter. A logarithm is an exponent. Or you could say equals. A logarithm equals an exponent. Okay, so a logarithm is an exponent. 
Okay, so if I want you to, if I want to know what's the log base two of sixteen, and some people would say log of sixteen base two, so you can interchange that. So log base two of sixteen, we're asking ourselves, remember the logarithm is the exponent of the base. So the base is two, two to what power equals sixteen? See we're looking for the exponent. And hopefully you're saying four. Because 2 to the 4th 16. So log, log, ignore that. Um, log base 2 of 16 equals 4. Remember, log equals the exponent. 4 is the exponent of 2 that gets you 16. That's another way to say it. Okay? So if I had log base 2 of 10, 24, we're asking again, 2 to what power? 2 to what power equals 10, 24. And if you recognize that, that's a K in computer language. 2 to the 10 is 10, 24. So log base 2 of 10, 24 is 10. And then... Um, log base 2 of 1 over 32 is what? So again, 2 to what power is 1 over 32? So to get the 1 over, that's going to be a negative. So we know it's going to be negative. And 2 to what power is 32? So 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. That's fifth power. So it's 2 to the negative 5 equals 1 over 32. So log base 2 of 1 over 32 equals negative 5. Oh, let's go back in, um, up top here. And then it, right, if you um, recall y equals 2 to the x, the domain is, um, that's the x values. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. And then the range is... 0 to infinity. And then when you do the inverse, of course, the domain becomes the range and the range becomes the domain because we're switching the x and y's. So the domain for logarithms, right, so this is y equals log 2. The domain would be um, 0 to infinity. You can't use negatives. can't use 0. And then the range will be all real numbers. Okay. All right, so let's uh, formally uh, write down the definition of logarithm. So we define y equals log base a of x as the number y such that x equals a to the y, where x is greater than 0. So again, that's the domain x is greater than 0, and a is a positive constant other than 1. Okay, so the base is, can't be 1, because then it wouldn't be anything interesting, and it has to be positive. Okay, so that's our definition. So the key here is we define logarithms in terms of its equivalent um, exponential form. So whenever you want to convert back and forth, just remember this relationship. Okay, y equals log base a of x. That's equivalent to, that's what the double-sided arrow means, is equivalent to, or it's the same as. Um, okay, so the way I do it is you start with the base. The base is a. And then you remember log, log equals an exponent. So log equals an exponent. So a to the y equals, and then all that's left is the x. So that's how you convert from log to exponential form. You just remember these, this relationship. And so note again, I'm going to write it again. A log equals exponent. A log equals an exponent. Okay, let's practice. So look, we're going to start with the base. The base is 5. 
Okay, and then you're going to say, okay, log equals exponent. Log equals exponent. That's my exponent. Okay, so that's my exponent. And then the only number left is the 125. Okay, so that's the way I do it. So I just constantly say that log equals exponent. Let's try another one. Log base 15 of x equals 300. So you know, we start with the base. The base is 15. Log equals exponent. So the 300 is the exponent. And then x is the only number left over. Just try one more. 40 equals log base m of t. Again, we start with the base. In this case, base is m. The log equals the exponent. So 40 is the exponent. And then the only number left is the t. So log equals exponent. Just keep repeating that when you do these conversions. Convert to log form. So let's try it the other way. Okay, so the way I do this is um, I start with the base. I always start, no matter which way I'm converting, I always start with the base. So the base is 5, so log base 5. And then I'm going to say log equals exponent. So the exponent goes on the other side of the equal sign. So w is the exponent. And then the only number left over goes inside for the logarithm. So log base 5 of 27 equals w. All right, let's try another one. e to the 10 equals x. So again, you're going to start with the uh, base. The base is b. Log equals exponent. So that's the 10. And then the x goes inside. And that's it. Okay, so find the following without a calculator. So again, we're saying 8 to what power is 64? And hopefully you said 2. Let's do that log. Now, if you don't see a base, so log of a thousand, and there's no base written, that's what's called a common log. So let me squeeze it right here. No, common log is base ten, and um, when you write it, so log of x with no base written is log base 10. Okay, so that's, so this is log base 10 of 1,000. So if you just say log of 1,000, we're assuming the base is 10. That's the default base. Okay, so if nothing's written, the base is 10. So 10 to what power is 1,000? So 10 to what power equals 1,000? And the easy thing, you count 1, 2, 3 zeros. So it's 10 to the third. Log base, um, say 5, 1 over 25. But again, 5 to what power is 1 over 25? To get the 1 over would be negative, and then 5 squared is 25. So that would be negative 2. And this one usually gets people. Um, let's say 27 is the base, and you want 3. So 27 to what power equals 3? That's what we're looking for. And hopefully you realize, oh, that's a cube root, so this would be 1 third power. Cube root 1 third. And so it's 1 third. Okay, so most um, scientific calculators come standard with the uh, common log, base 10, the LOG button, and the LN button, which I'll talk about in a second. Okay, so get out your calculator and make sure you can um, get these numbers, and we want to round to four places. So you have to decide whether your calculator, you put the function in first, meaning hit log first and then 8 and then enter, or if you hit like the calculator I'm using, I'm going to hit the 8 first, then the log button, and I get 
3089987, so round it to four places. So 0.9031. All right, so make sure you can do that with your calculator and learn how to use it. It's a log of 93,000. Now the other thing I'd like you to do is before I punch this in my calculator, you know, you should have a sense of 10 to the 0 is 1, 10 to the 1 is 10, 10 squared is 100, 10 cubed is 1,000, 10 to the 4th is 10,000, and 10 to the 5th is 100,000, so on. So since we want 93,000, it's between these two. So it's between 4 and 5. And remember, it's the exponent. So this should be 4 point something. So I'm going to punch it in my calculator, 93,100. Hit my log button. And again, you have to decide if you have to hit the log first or the number first. Um, and I get 4.96894, so on. Um, we'll just round it to four places. 4, 9, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit that here. Notice I'm using um, the squiggly equal sign, which is about. That means about. 4.9689. Okay. And so the natural log is base E. This is called the natural log. And it's the log, it's the log base E. So you don't have to say that. The natural log is base E, right? Um, so instead of writing log with base E, remember E is that number that we discussed in the last section, 2.718. All right, so if I want you to do, um, with a calculator, you should have the LN button. Just make sure you can use it. And again, you got to figure out, do you push the 51st in the LN button or the LN button 50 and then enter. So you have to experiment with your calculator. Make sure you know how to do it before you um, come in for the test. Or the final. Okay, so I get 3.9120. And of course I gotta use my approximately symbol. All right, let's try another one, just to make sure we got this. The ln of negative 4. And what happens if you punch that in your calculator? You should be getting an, some kind of error message or something that's, you know, saying, hey, you can't do this, right? Because remember, the, the domain is greater than 0, it's 0 to infinity. So this is undefined, you can't do it. And then E, so you can't put a negative. You can put a number that's small, like 0 0.00, 0 0.037. Punch that in your calculator. And remember, between 0 and 1, you should get a negative answer. So 0 0.00037. And I get negative 7.90. Two zero. Alright, so again, make sure you can use your calculator on that. Now, most calculators just have those two buttons, but uh, recently calculators have been coming where you can put in any base you want. But, if you don't have that type of calculator, and you just have the standard ones that just do LN or LOG, the common log or the natural log, Okay, the natural logs, the LN button. Um, you need this formula. It's called the change of base formula. So log base A of any number, X, equals log B, base B, B is any base you want to choose, of X, divided by log base B of A. So you're going to take the original number divided by the original base. So the log of the original number divided by log of the original base. So B is your choice. And it has 
but it has to be greater than zero, of course. Any number you choose. Okay. Okay, so this is a great thing because you get to choose your the new base. So you use LOG or LN because those are the two buttons on most calculators. So if I, I'm going to do log of the original number divided by log of the original base and punch that in your calculator. And you should get, so again, make sure you can use your calculator. So you should try these. Divided by log of 5. And you should get some, let's see, log of 70. Now it's important you use the same button for the top and the bottom. You can't, you, you can choose any base you want, but you got to make it the same for the top and the bottom. That's where I just messed up. I used the LN button and then the LOG button. 5 LOG. So you should get 2.6397. And you round it to four places. Okay, so just make sure you can use your calculator for that, for the change of base formula. Really important formula. Let's try one more. And, and um, you know, try it both with the log button and the LN button, the natural log button, and you'll see you get the same answer. Because that's the whole idea of the change of base formula. Okay, and if you know that 12 squared is 144, it should be 1 point something. So let's just... Let's use the LN button this time. LN 138, LN 12, so you do the original number divided by the original base. And I get 1.98287, so 1.9829 if I round it. Okay, so again, just make sure you can use your calculator. Um, if if you're not getting those numbers, seek some help with your calculator from someone either in the Math Success Center or a friend that's had this class before. Or you can probably YouTube, you know, put in your model number, your calculator, and you should be able to find something. Okay, let's graph y, or f of x, equals log base 3 of x minus 2. And remember, all our transformations still work, so this, we're going to take our base graph, which is um, y equals log base 3 of x. And I, I want to think of it in its exponential form. So remember, it's the base is 3, log equals the exponent, so 3 to the y equals x. And it's a lot easier to graph these if you remember we're putting in the put in the exponent. So zero exponents y now. One, negative one. And if you want to go out a couple more, you can. Um, that's generally enough for me. Three of the zeros one, three of the ones three. So we're putting y in the exponent. And three to the negative one is one third. And we're going to count from a pretend origin. Which in this case is what? So if you remember, x minus 2, it's inside with the x in the parentheses. So that's going to shift it right to units. Two units. Okay, so that means our pretend origin is going to be at zero at two zero. So I'm going to make my graph. My pretend origin is at um, two zero. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to plot these points counting from the pretend origin. So I'm going to do one zero, three one which is 5, 1 in the real graph. And then 1 third, negative 1. And remember, 
this um, x equals 2 is going to be my vertical asymptote because it got shifted two units right. And my graph looks like that. Okay, so that's the graph. So we can still use all our transformations. All that stuff still holds. And um, hopefully you're getting the hang of that. All right, so that concludes Lesson 5.3. Go to my math lab and complete your exercises there. See you next time.